Eight years ago, the cathedral provoked public outrage when they suggested auctioning the map to raise money for urgent repairs. The Queen's motorcade reached Hereford Cathedral shortly after the Royal Train had pulled into the city's railway station. On the way to unveil a commemorative stone, the Queen walked with the Dean of Hereford through the cathedral's ancient cloisters. The philanthropist John Paul Getty Jr., who donated a million pounds towards the Mapamundi building, was among the dignitaries presented to the Queen. One of Britain's most important historical treasures, the Mapamundi was moved from the cathedral crypt to the building it now shares with the chained library by six SAS officers in a high security operation. To help visitors understand the world map from 700 years ago, a permanent exhibition has been set up using 20th century computer technology. It is a visualization of medieval knowledge in a Christian framework. A touch-sensitive interactive computer explains how scholars from the 13th century interpreted their world. Basically, you can keep accessing the information at the pace that you want to access it. Um, in whatever order you like, so you create your own text really and you look at the bits that you're interested in so that by the time you get to see Mapper, you actually understand and have a personal relationship with what you want to see. It works really well. The East was at the top where our North would be, with Jerusalem at the centre of the world. 500 drawings of people, plants, animals and buildings represent a compilation of all the knowledge of the time. Seas and rivers bisected the land masses of Asia and Africa. The land mass of Europe is drawn lower left. Some of the Midlands principal cities can be found on an English translation of the Mapa Mundi in the exhibition area. In a special chamber next to the Mapa Mundi, the cathedral's chained library is on display in its original arrangement for the first time in 150 years. A chain is attached to each book, the other end of the chain is slotted into a rod running along the bottom of each shelf. There's a lock at the end of each section. Chaining books was the most widespread and effective security system for libraries in the Middle Ages up until the 18th century. The chain was long enough for you to take the book down off the shelf and read it at the desk. And of course, the chain meant that you couldn't take the book away. It's the largest chained library in the world, and it contains the 8th century Hereford Gospel, one of the oldest books in the country. So here we have uh, 1,500 books still on their original 17th century presses, um, housing the cathedral library down the ages. Of course, the books go right back to the Saxon times, and so it's really perhaps one of the most undisturbed cathedral libraries anywhere in the world. The construction company Treasures of Ludlow had to make sure that the Mapa Mundi building blended in easily with those of the cathedral. In the chained library, a system of sensors ensures the books are kept in controlled environmental conditions for the first time. On their way from the Mapa Mundi building to a dedication service, the royal couple spoke to groups of school children. She liked our flags and she um, asked what school we're from. There was time for another royal walkabout before Hereford presented its parting gift a salmon caught locally in the River Wye.